What should you try when all else fails? <laughs> that happens to me a lot. <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. April 25. We are in the heart of the best fishing time of the whole year, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I like it all, though. It doesn't matter. I, you know, I look for great things to do in the summertime when it's nice and warm. We're out there fishing without a shirt and, and shorts on and getting a good suntan. I love it. And I love it. The only thing I don't like is windy, cold weather. Oh, I don't like windy, cold weather. April 25. I have no windy, cold weather in April 25. Not here in Oklahoma. We're looking at Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, 62, 5. Isaiah 62, 5. As a man rejoices over his new wife, so your God rejoices over you. Wow. As a man rejoices over his new wife, so your God will rejoice over you. We all like to talk about the good old days of fishing. We remember all the great strings of bass, crappie, catfish that we've caught. Most of my best, best fishing memories involve my wife, Chris. After more than 55 years of marriage, I love her more now than ever. And I thank God every day for picking her out for me. Do you realize that? That's exactly what happens in Christian marriages. Uh, you really kind of have no choice, you know. She's thinking, wow, wow, I had no choice either, I guess, huh? She didn't. She really didn't. It's impossible for us to realize how much God really loves us. Everything he has done from creation until now has been done out of his love for those that he created. It's exciting to think that we can put a smile on God's face. What makes God smile? Talking to him, reading his word, praising and worshiping him. Sure, but maybe most of all, it's living our lives by the example his son Jesus set for us. My goodness. Putting a smile on God's heart. Talking to him, reading his word, praising and worshiping him, and living our lives by the example that his son, Jesus Christ, set for us. You know, when we do something nice to somebody, when we have a great attitude about the day, when we really shouldn't have a great attitude, everything is going wrong, but we're still trusting, we're still believing, we're still counting on God, we're still praising, we're still worshiping puts a smile on God's heart. And I can think of nothing I'd rather do than put a smile on God's heart, put a smile on God's face. Because when God is smiling back on you, incredible things are going to happen in your life. Things that are beyond your wildest imaginations. Things that you wouldn't even think about. That's what God will do when you put a smile on his face and put a smile on his heart. Here's our tip for the day. Sometimes little teeny crankbaits will produce when all else fails. I'm not talking about crankbaits this big. I'm talking about the little bitty tiny things. The things are the ones that you can't even throw on a casting rod. You've got to throw on a spinning rod, a light action spinning rod, with maybe four or six pound test line because they're so small and so tiny. Those little tiny baits will produce. Now, Will they produce big giant fish? Yeah, but not very often. You might go through hundreds of fish before you catch a, a three or four or five pounder, but you can catch pretty much everything that swims on little bitty tiny crankbaits. Uh, little crankbaits that look like a bluegill or look like a little minnow or look like a, a little crawfish. Those are the crankbaits that will catch them when all else fails. Hey guys and girls, what a beautiful day. I can just stand out here and soak it up all day long. But you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, of course you do. I'm going fishing. Guys and girls, have a great one out there today. I love you. <laughs>